Miss gives message to new juicers and Miss kids. What is this? A lot of juicers don't even know, and maybe a lot of my viewers don't even know too. We go way back. Like we go, me and XUC go back five years almost. We go way back. And I think a lot of people think that like, oh, me and him never were friends. We don't like each other. We never knew. It's just completely false. He used to live right next to me. We used to hang out. He, in my opinion, we had one of the best IRL streams ever, which is when he was stuck downtown and me and Pope went and saved him. You know? Uh, it was a, we had good times, man. We had good times. The one element of this that is true is that, like, streamers behind closed doors at the height of this drama, AC would have killed for you taking this, uh, at the height of this drama, AC would have killed you for taking this picture with Miz. Yeah, I know. Um, because, uh, yeah, streamers are, are, uh, performing. Streamers are performing. Streamers are performing. Streamers are always doing a performance, okay? And oftentimes, I think it's careless uh, because people take it very seriously. Oftentimes, people take it super seriously, and it takes on an additional role. As far as, like, um, as far as uh, uh, in most circumstances, obviously, there's, like, exceptions to this. But in most circumstances, it doesn't fucking matter. Like, uh, nobody, nobody actually fucking despises one another. You know what I mean? That's it, which is why it's always crazy when parasocial feelings are, are brought up in chats and people hate one another aggressively. Um, it's something that I... What do you mean, here we go? Uh, no. I talked about this yesterday as well. I talked about this yesterday as well. I literally said the exact same thing. Communities take shit and fandoms take shit seriously and literally hold on to it. I, as a matter of fact talked about this on the podcast too i don't know if xqc watched that part of the podcast but i talked about that as well on the podcast where i said there are a lot of people like back in the day i think i uh enjoyed a larger audience of like twitch watchers a larger audience of like twitch watchers that would come in here to hear my takes on you know Charlie or uh, even Ludwig style uh, commentary that did not directly pertain to news. Okay. They don't do that anymore. This community is grown. This community is very big, but um, most people that is in, that's in like the Twitch eco ecosystem already have made up their minds about me. Most of the times, they have made up their minds about me through clips out of context, and and through what their um through what their Twitch streamer is saying about me on any given moment, or allowing whatever kind of like uh, sentiment to be expressed in spam in their chats. Okay, and that's it. The comment section on TikTok is about, about you is wild. Yes. It's always going to be that way. It's never going to change. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about that. Okay? Unfortunately, there is nothing I can do about that. It already happened. It's never going to change. It's just going to keep happening forever. Okay? Is that why you make Ludwig right wing? Nobody thinks, nobody in my community thinks Ludwig is right wing. Ludwig is a good friend of mine who I have on the stream all the fucking time. We're talking about like genuine disagreements that get elevated into, uh, you know, a, a completely different degree. Okay. The, the relationship that I have with XCC is a great example By the way, your comment about you getting a lot of hate online way more than Charlie and Ludd is valid. I saw the 100 Thieves post about Timmy getting interviewed by you and Ludd, and there were a lot of hate posts under the comments about you. Yeah. 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 There are a lot of people who, like, don't realize that 
There are a lot of people who don't realize, for example, that they might even be fans of Ludwig, but hate me. They might be fans of Charlie, but hate me. Even if we have the exact same identical perspective, because unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, at a, at, a, at a certain point, it's like impossible uh, for me to make everyone's minds up and, and uh, gain charitability. You know, that's gone already. It's happened already. It's, it's happened for far too long. It's been happening every single day since 2020 by people with actual fucking massive audiences and fan bases that um, specifically have weaponized it towards every minor infraction that they've turned into a genuine, uh, a genuine uh, massive, massive point of contention. That's how it works.